In 2022, we've been seeing some really good performance with dynamic creatives. And since I've made the video uh, talking about $4 million in 30 days and how a lot of it was due to dynamic creatives, I wanted to make a video today for you guys to go through and pull back the curtains, and actually set up dynamic creatives inside of the ad account and give you a full walkthrough. And if you're new to the channel, my name is Nick Terrio. I run an e-com growth agency where we manage roughly 750,000 to a million dollars a month in Facebook ad spend. And yeah, I have nothing to sell you. Don't do courses or anything like that. Um, my main offer is, you know, hey, if you love these videos, if I helped you grow your business and you want to work more, then we have an agency. Quick link below to book a call with me and my team. That being said, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button for new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And let's dive into it, guys. <laughs> So we did $4 million in 30 days, and this is the dynamic structure we had recommended. Um, three new creatives, two copies, one winner plus one new, um, two ad lines, one winner plus one new. So this will be actually what I'll be showing you guys how to set up in this video. Um, so if we go over to our ad account, I'm gonna show you this on one of our drop shipping stores specifically that we've been able to do some really good performance with. You know, so far this month, we're at roughly $57,000 in sales. Um, $7,480 of net profit. Um, and again, that cash collected right there is total cash collected. Like that's after everything. There's no overhead or cost or anything like that for this brand because it's a drop shipping store. Um, and we've been able to scale it pretty well. I think last month we did like $30,000 last month or 41,000 sales. Um, so we've been climbing really well for this specific store. So with that being said, I actually wanna show you guys um, this ad account and just how exactly we set things up with dynamic creatives and everything. So again, we only run one campaign. And if I click inside of there, if I just look at this month so far, we have our main ad set right here. And actually just gonna, yeah, just main ad set right here. Um, you can call it main or whatever. And then each ad set that's titled 120, 121, 122, 119, these are all of our testing ad sets that we've tested pre you know, historically against it. So each batch is, um, is this right here. Each batch, like, you know, for example, if I put batch 122, then this whole, everything in batch 122 is this. Three creatives, two copies, two ad lines. Okay, so each, batch of ads we test we just label it 122 119 118 117 118 so yeah just so you guys get clarity on that right there so i have a new batch today called 122 i'm gonna put live in this account i'm gonna show you guys how exactly we set that up and just go further into this in our broad campaign right here our broad ad set right here we have all of our kind of like winning ads and then inside of each of these ad sets we have our dynamic ads right here and i've been fully transparent with you guys on this channel already so i'm not really worried about you know showing off the brand information all that stuff like that so just because it's extremely difficult to get this type of product um to be sold so with that being said let's go ahead and actually start creating this so i'm not going to go into an actual campaign um i mean it's just a cbo campaign you know we start off at 100 bucks a day and we just keep increasing 20 percent a day so it's about 1217 dollars a day um, it's just a standard CBO campaign. Our main ad set is just a regular ad set. Uh, you can see right here, optimize for purchases. Um, this is set up correctly, but Facebook's still giving us an error, so I just disregard it because I've checked in the events manager that's working properly. Custom audiences, only thing I do is exclude purchase 30 days. I don't do retargeting and I don't give a fuck about excluding warm engagement or anything like that. That's all a big lie. Location, United States, age 18 plus, you know, purely broad targeting. That's all I'm worried about. Advantage plus automatic placements. But the big key here is that dynamic creative is turned off on this particular ad set. And then dynamic creative is turned on our testing ad sets. And if I go right here to 121 or 120, you can see dynamic creative is turned on. Um, I apply like a $10 minimum daily budget. If Facebook chooses not to spin on it, that shows to me that, hey, it's not the, that Facebook doesn't want to spin on it, is that Facebook is telling us that it's a bad ad. That's also something else you have to realize. So if we look at this month, Facebook enormously spent on this one right here because it gets the best um, performance. And when I say that, people are like, oh, well, Nick, this is a 2.16 ROAS. This is a 4.59 ROAS. Why is this should get better because it's better performance? That's not completely true because Facebook measures performance in two ways. All right. Performance is, is by total spend and hitting your CPA in that perspective right there. So Facebook needs to see an ad that gets a lot of engagement and, and like 
For example, if you launch an ad that no one wants to see, but a few low hanging fruit will purchase from it and it gets good, really good ROAS, Facebook will not spend a lot on it because Facebook is seeing that, hey, it's not really getting good engagement. It's not really getting good interaction rates and people don't want to see this ad. So Facebook doesn't want to spend a lot of money on it. Now, with that, you might catch a few low hanging fruit and see a good ROAS. So if you try to scale this up, it's going to quickly deteriorate very fast. So you're getting a good ROAS at this level of spin, but that doesn't mean you'll get a good ROAS at this level of spin. So Facebook identified this as the winner as getting the, the most spin at or the best engagement at that level of spin and that level of you know cost per acquisition at CPA. So that's something else you have to look at. So with that being said, I don't want to go too deep into all this because you know, there is more I want to do, um, or there's a lot that you want to cover in this video. So we're just gonna go ahead and create our first dynamic ad set. So I'm just gonna create it. Um, this is 122. Um, obviously you can name this a lot better. Um, all of our agency accounts, we do a lot better, but this is kind of just like a store that we do. So I'm just gonna you know, give you guys that input right there. Come in here, I'm gonna turn on dynamic creative on, continue. I'm gonna go further in here. I'm gonna exclude, I'm gonna do purchase 30 days. That's it, that's all I'm really worried about. Purchase 30 days. Location, United States, because I'm targeting United States. If I was targeting multiple countries and, and using the same creative for all those countries, then I'll do those add those countries in. If I'm doing different copy and creatives for each each country, then I'll do a different campaign per country. Age, 1865, blah, blah, blah. Like that's it, purely broad. All right, then we go right here to dynamic and I'm gonna start inputting a few different things. So first thing is we need our three creatives. So if we look back right here, First key to this recipe is three new creatives. So go back to that account, select videos. I already uploaded the videos just to save time, but I'll show you guys this right quick. There we go, 122, 122, 122, 132. So that way, you know, again, we keep everything fucking like labeled so that way we, we don't, you know, have any of those issues. Next thing is I need the website URL, copy that. There we go. And let's see, cool. All right, um, domain, da da da. There we go. All right, so we got the some just some easy stuff right here. We use shop now for everything. Now the next key thing here is the primary text. So um, we got our three videos in, primary text right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in two things. We're gonna add in one new winner or like one winner plus one new. So we need a new text. So we're gonna go find um, our winning one first. So this is our winning one. And then I do need to actually go ahead and there we go. So we got our winner in and then what we're going to do is we're going to add a text option. There we go. And then now we got our next one, which we'll actually go into and add in our new one right here. So this is a completely new text we never used yet. Now we got our new, our, our winner, and then we got our new one. Now we're going to do that same thing for the headline. So we're going to figure out what is our headline for this personalized metal infinity sign. So type that in, um, personalized metal infinity sign. Boom. And then I'm adding a headline option as well. And inside that headline option, what I'm gonna do is, is gonna add in this new one. Um, okay, so that's actually the same. So what I'm gonna do is just give something for you guys. Or actually, you know what I'm gonna do? Free shipping. So now we have two different headlines, one existing winner and one new one. We have two body copies one existing winner, one new one. And then we have our three new creatives right here. So this is it. This is all I do to set up this dynamic. What I'm going to do is, is I'm going to just kind of preview this, make sure this all looks good. You can click on advanced preview right here and you can select different types of creatives to like preview in here. So I really like that. And then for text right here, you can also just check out like different times, um, different text options right here for the main uh, text. And let's see, I'll show you guys right here. Cool. So very easy to do. And what I'm gonna do is now is I'm gonna actually publish this and let that go. Cool. That is published. And yeah, there we go. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna let this run. Um, let's go back prospecting campaign. So what I'm gonna do is, is just let this run for like, I don't know, let's just say for a week, for example. And if this level of spin doesn't improve, like for example, like these over the last seven days, these have been running and only getting like $43 a day of spin. A lot of you guys are like, oh, well, Nick, that's because, you know, Facebook's just favoring this one and it's not spending on these. Well, look, that's why we put like a five or $10 a day minimum budget. You can do that too if you want. Don't put anything more than that because if Facebook's not spending on these, you have to ask your question, why? Why is Facebook not spending on these? And realistically, it's because that 
performance ain't as good on these as your main one right here um, or, or your other one. So what we want to do is, is we want to find dynamics that's going to spend, I don't know, I would say at least 25% to 50% of this with this one spends. This one will always spend more just due to there's more ads in here. There's more good options for Facebook, but we at least want to get some level of spin here because the goal here is not to find new winning ads. The goal here is to find new ads that will take the account to a higher level of spend. So we want to find new ads in here that's going to take the account from $1,000 a day of spend to $2,000 a day of spend. I don't care if we find an ad that's going to help the account spend an extra hundred bucks a day. I want to find ads that tremendously improve performance and lift overall business revenue. So that's the goal here. Um, so let's say, for example, now that you actually find some new inning ads, let's say, for example, 121 is a winning ad and you want to move it into your main ad set. All I do here is there's two options. You can go break down right here by dynamic creative element. Sometimes you just have to refresh your screen and it'll pop up. So let me just refresh this one more time. There we go. And we should be able to see it. There we go. So you can actually see all these specific elements right here. Um, you can see like last seven days and you can see, all right, which videos got the spin yada 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 cool i'm not sure why this one has five assets so don't replicate this at all text cool now the text just to keep you in mind the text it shows the body copy and it shows the headline so just keep that in mind sometimes when you look at um the just text right there but you can also segment specifically to headlines specifically and you can see what headlines um one in that aspect right there um what i like to do is i like to just hit preview see Facebook posts with comments. And from there, it'll show me what is the best ads in terms of order. So for example, you can see right here, this is the first winning ad. And if I scroll down, this is the second winning ad right here. Now, this is the ones that Facebook was able to spend the most on Facebook, um, you know, the best combinations that Facebook believes. So there's two things you can do right here. All right. Something we're experimenting with is we're a we're experimenting with just leaving the dynamic ad set on and cool, just calling it a day. Or what you can do is, is you can move it to your main ad set. Okay. So the next thing which you want to do is to move it to that main ad set is go in back to that post. You click on the timestamp for each one of these ads. So now all of a sudden you see how the URL changed. So this is our dynamic right here. And you can see it's our dynamic because you see DCO ad ID equals. You can't do anything with this. But if I click on this little timestamp right here, all of a sudden it's going to go PF, you know, ID right here, PFB ID, and then boom. <clears throat> then what I'll do is go right here into our broad ad set right here. And then what I'll do is click boom, control D. This will be 12. There we go use existing post, enter post ID, boom, submit. There we go. Now all of a sudden I pulled in my dynamic, that one inside of my ad set. And then what I'll do is, is I'll always add in both options. So if it gives me two options, which it did, it gave me this one and then it gave me this one right here. Now again, make sure you see where it says other post. It, this is just where it keeps a continuous feed of other stuff that it's not even relevant to this ad. So it showed me two specifics. So I'm gonna click on this one right here. I'm gonna copy that page post ID now. Boom. And this will be 13. And then I'm gonna enter post ID. Cool. Now all of a sudden I added both those winners in from that dynamic post. And there we go. We're good to go. Now I officially added in my two things. Now, another thing you can do too is don't immediately turn off that ad set. So we said like 121 right here. Don't immediately turn off that ad set. Turn off that ad set once you start getting really good spin inside of here on those two um, ads. And Facebook has, um, you know, officially said like, all right, cool. Hey, you know, we're spending, we're seeing profitability in this campaign or this ad set with those two ads. Then you go ahead and turn off that um, particular ad set right there. So, but yeah. And then what I'll do is, is if there's other ad sets that lost. So for example, like this one, like the last seven days, clearly it's not a good winner for Facebook. All I'll do is just turn those things off like that. This one obviously was clearly not a good winner for Facebook either because 10,000 relative to $43. Um, so I'm just gonna turn those off. And that's also gonna give me room to add in more new ad sets right there. So, um, and again, the time it takes, you know, how often you should be doing this at all and how many ad sets you can do, it all is relative to spend. Um, I don't recommend more than like, for example, you have your main ad set. I don't recommend more than two ad sets always testing at a time. And what's your goal here? Again, your goal is not to see how much like, 
oh, hey, I got to wait till it gets to $200 and then cut it off. You're, you're cutting after, I don't know, let's just say wait like three, four days. And if it's not really getting any spend, then, and you have a minimum daily budget of like five or $10, then realistically, it's not Facebook. It's, well, it is Facebook, but it's Facebook telling you, hey, you have bad ads here. So you need to go create better ads. You have to be aligned with spin and you also have to be aligned with, um, you know, um, getting conversions from that ad. So if you get an ad set with low spin, let's see if I have it in this video right here. Okay, actually I do not have it in here. But if you have an ad, ad set with low spin and a good CPA, that means that ad is not engaging. People don't really wanna see it, but it's picking a few low hanging fruit off. If you have an ad set with high spin and a bad CPA, that means that ad's really engaging. Facebook wants to show it, but it's not good at converting sales, okay? If you have an ad set with zero spin and zero sales or low, low, low spin and zero sales, that means it's just altogether bad. And then obviously if you have an ad set that really takes off and it's very profitable for you, then you likely have a strong winner. And that's what you're looking for right there. So hopefully that makes sense. This is purely how I do dynamic creatives in 2022. Um, and this is our strategy and that aspect right there. Make sure you check my video out, $4 million in 30 days and go towards the end where it shows you more about like scaling and stuff like that. But it's, it's more just increasing budget and decreasing budget. That's it. And as far as that, we keep everything very, very simple. So that way we can focus on stuff that actually moves the needle and stuff that you can actually control, like better creatives, better copy, um, and better offers for a brand. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Again, I run an agency, we manage roughly about 750K to a million dollars a month in spend. And we do are taking on clients right now. We do have a client roster of 10. So just beware that we don't allow more than 10. And I am looking at replacing one or two clients right now. So um, we are opening up our doors to be able to start looking at Q4 and improving that operations right there. So make sure you click the link below to book a call with me and my team. I'll hop on strategy call, call together. And if we are a good fit together, um, then we'll let you know. And then, you know, we can move forward in that aspect right there. Again, I don't have a course or anything like that to sell you guys. I give you guys everything for free on YouTube. Um, my goal is to help you guys grow your brands. Um, and in favor, eventually, if you want to work with me down the line, you have that opportunity too. So thank you guys for watching this video, guys. Make sure to like button, hit that subscribe button for new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. My name is Nick Terrio. Talk to you guys later. Peace out.